Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw, and this math treat is called Circle of Pennies. This is from one of Martin Gardner's books, and I learned about it through one of my favorite teachers, Fawn Nguyen. I'll put a link to her website in the notes so you can check out what she does uh, online. Now, the way this game works is it's a two-player game. Players will take turns taking some of the pennies out of this circle. The person who takes the last penny is the winner, and the rules are as follows. You can take one or two pennies from anywhere in the circle, but if you take two, they have to be adjacent to each other. So that's it, and you wanna be the person who takes the last penny. I'll show you how a game might play out so you can see how it works. First person goes, maybe the first person, which I'll make red, decides to take this penny, and if they wanna take two, they can take one of these attached ones. Maybe they take one and two. Okay, those pennies are gone. Now, player two has a turn. Player two decides they can take a penny from anywhere they like. Maybe they take this penny right here. Now, because these pennies are gone and this penny is gone, these two are kind of on their own, and then we have this uh, segment of pennies over here. Player one's turn. Maybe they take one from there. Player two decides to take two, and of course they can't take two from different places. They have to take two that are adjacent. So maybe player two goes over here and takes these two right there. Excellent. Player one, let's see, takes 13 and maybe 12 also. Great, now we have this little segment down here. Player two takes six, there's four left. Player one maybe takes one, player two takes one, and then uh, player one takes both. And by taking the last penny, player one wins. So that's the game, that's how you play. And the question is, is there an optimal strategy? Would you wanna be the person who goes first? The person who goes second? Will it depend on the number of coins in the circle? Who goes first or second? Is there a strategy by which you can always win? If you've been around for several of our math treats, this is very related to another one that we did, which was a game where I took the last coin and I never lost. I think I can probably play this game as well where I never lose. So try and figure out what those strategies are. Play around with di different amounts of coins. If you solve it, if you figure it out, awesome. Then think about some alternatives, like what if I change the rules that you could take one, two, or three coins? Or what if there are two circles of pennies that you start with? All kinds of ways to vary it and come up with some new rules, some new games, and maybe some new solutions and new insights. That's it for this math treat. As always, I just want you to have fun playing with the math.